Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to import your contacts. Many of you will be coming from existing systems or have existing data in some format or another, so this is really important. And if you don't know what an import is, that's fine. Essentially, it's taking a spreadsheet with all of our contact information on it and squeezing that into Odoo so that then we can use it there. The most difficult part of this process is really making sure that our information is clean and correct and that we have our columns set up properly. So to help you with that, I've created a little template to make it a bit easier. It's in the description if you want to follow along. Okay, so as far as templates go, I feel this is a pretty good one. And the reason behind that is I've basically made it so any field that you would have for contacts is represented here. I have, however, removed any many-to-many's, one-to-many's, or image fields because there are better ways to deal with these. So I installed all the apps that are part of Baseodo and exported all the fields that you would have on the res.partner model, which is the contact model. And then I color coded these according to how easy I think they are to deal with in an import, just so it helps you. And then brought that color coding over to your actual import tab. So green is pretty easy. It's, it's very difficult to mess these up. Orange is probably the most difficult. I didn't make them red because they're really not too bad when it comes down to it. And yellow, you need to just take a little bit more time on these and make sure that you get them right. All of the orange items here, you'll notice, are many to ones. The hardest part about imports tends to be many to ones because if we don't already have the record in place that we're referencing, meaning in this instance, if our buyer user that we're referencing from our contact card doesn't exist yet, the system's not going to let us import it. We have to make sure that all of the buyers that are represented in our contact import are already in our user's table. If you need a little bit more help on that concept, go ahead and check out my other video here. You'll see that I've also included columns to tell you what the field type is, um, what allowed values you have here, and if there's a related model, what the model name is so that you don't have to be confused here. So you've got this beautiful template to start with. What's the next step? Well, now we need to go through and see which columns your company actually needs. So I do have an import sheet here for you, right? And I do have the color coding for you so that it shows you what's fairly easy, what's not. But a lot of times for people, you already have a big, huge spreadsheet with all of your contacts in it. So it won't hurt my feelings if you copy and paste these column headers into your own spreadsheet so that you don't have to move all of the data over here. Whatever you do, you're not likely to need all of the columns here. So what we should do is come through and clean this up, make sure that we're only importing the information that we need. So I've got some example data here from my address scrubbing video. So coming through name, Let's go ahead and grab the column header for that one. So we're going to look at this, go to field details, just because that's a little bit quicker to go through. And we're going to say name, okay? Company name, well, that's kind of interesting. We're gonna need to handle that in another way too, because this is actually a related field. But we're gonna come back to this, scroll down to our orange guys here, and related company. Remember, we need to have these companies in our contacts first before we import the individuals. So we'll deal with that in a second. Full address was actually just used for me to break this down into street, zip code, city, state, and country. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this guy. Now we need to get our street header. So we're gonna come back into my contacts import. Let's look for street. So it's going to be street. That was easy enough. Bring that back over here. Street, we already got that. Zip code, look at this real quick. Get our zip. Okay, we need city, state, and country. I believe those are consistent, so let's see real quick. We've got city, state, and country. So state and country are both orange, so we need to be a little bit more careful there. We're going to have to check those out and make sure that we have the correct state and country. Now we have phone one and phone two. We're going to say this is primary phone number and this is cell phone. So we're going to come back into here and we're going to look at this and say phone. Bring that over here. That's a green, so that's nice and easy. 
And then we're going to come back in here and look for our cell phone number. It's actually in his mobile. So we're going to grab that over here, bring it into our import, another green. So that's nice. Grab email, which is another green. Makes our lives easier here. Whoops. Email and then web. We want to make sure that we grab the web link here. So it's going to be our website link. So now we've got our data all set up. It's time to address these orange columns and make sure they're going to work for us. So we're starting with a fresh database. So we know that these related companies are not going to be present inside of our database. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this tab. So move or copy, create a copy. And we're going to call this companies. And we're going to change this to name because at the company level, this is name. We're going to get rid of the individuals. And we need to decide whether we want all of this street information at the top level with the company or if we want it at the individual level. We're going to assume right now that this is company information. It's set for the phone, mobile, and email. So we're going to remove those from our company information. So we have the name for our company, street, zip, city, state, country, and website link. And we're going to clean up our individuals and say name, related company, stays, get rid of this address because it's already at the company level. We don't need it for this person. And we're going to say, all right, and actually the email, yeah, we're going to keep the email at the individual level and get rid of the website link because that's at company level. So that's one related field taken care of. We're going to import our companies first so that our individuals can refer to those. Now we're going to take care of our state and our country. And we need to make sure that this state and country for each record is represented in Odoo already. So to do that, we're gonna export a little bit of data from Odoo. So we're gonna look for our federal states, grab that and We've got state name, state code, country. We're going to go ahead and export all of these and make sure that we're good. So go and select all, go to actions, export. And this is going to give us a reference table for our states, which we will save, open up. And then we're going to put a new tab in here to give us our state reference. So enable editing so that we can copy this across. Control shift down arrow, and then our right arrow to grab all these. Some of these we're probably not gonna use at this point, but let's go into book two, add a tab, go ahead and paste this. And then we're going to change this name to states. Now we're gonna do the same for countries. So go ahead and start typing countries, grab this. Select all of these, select all. And you also could have clicked the little button over here if you wanted to export all. It's a pretty quick way to go about it. Go ahead and save, open it up. And then we'll want a new tab to put that information in there as well. So wait while it opens, enable that editing, control shift, down arrow, right arrow, control C. And then we're going to add another tab here for our countries. So states, countries, and now we're going to make sure that those are present. At least the ones in our data are present in Odoo already. So there are quite a few ways that we could do this. But one of my favorite ones is just to do a quick VLOOKUP. You could do a match as well if you wanted to. But we're going to do a VLOOKUP and say Maryland is our lookup value. Then our table array is in states. And we're going to go just column C, all of it. Put a one here to say we're just looking for the first column and then say false because we want this to be an exact match. So you can see right now, it looks like we've got pretty clean data for our states. So we're doing okay. Now you guys may be doing thousands of records. So you may want to come in, select all this, go to data filter, and just make sure that you don't have any NAs. So N slash a because that's going to say that you have an error and you're missing the information that you need and let me show you an example of that just so you know what you're looking for so let's take texas for example if we go back to states and we look for texas we can see it's here but if i were to get rid of it 
when we come back to companies import, you would see you've got this NA here, which means we've got an issue that we need to fix. We need to get Texas into Odoo first. But thankfully that didn't happen, so we'll move along here. Let's go ahead and verify our countries as well. Looks like we only have United States, but we're still gonna make sure that we're good here. So grab United States as a lookup value, go to the table array, go to countries and just do country name. So the first column here, just click all of it like that. Grab our column index, which is one and false. Okay, it looks like we're good here. Nice and clean. So we've cleaned up our data. We've split our companies from our individuals. And we've also verified that our many to one fields have the records that we're referring to already in Odoo. I think it's time we try this import. Let's do it. Future Andrew here. I was just editing and I realized I missed something. So let's go back just real quick. Now the first field that I missed is, is a company. Now by default, Odoo is going to assume that our contact is a company. So for individuals, we want to add is a company as a column and we want to say false because that'll allow us to use domains later on in our drop downs and make it so that we're only selecting companies or the appropriate type of contact there. Next is address type that shows us what type of contact this is. So it could be an individual delivery address, invoice address. This may be less important to you, but I'd encourage you to add this for your contacts. Okay, now we can move on. So we're going to save this with a nice name. I'm going to say file save as, and we're going to browse. And I'm going to save this in a nice little spot and call this contact import and save. Now we're going to come into a do go to our contacts and we're going to go up into the cog here and say import records. And now we can upload our file. We're going to go to documents, which is where I saved it, go to contact import, and we're going to want to make sure to import our companies first. Cause again, we know that our companies are going to be referred to from our individuals. So we've got our companies here and because we set up our headings properly, we're in a pretty good spot. They're already going in the right spot, but we do have our reference columns here. So we're just going to ignore those, but we have name, street, zip, city, state, country, and website link all looking pretty nice. So we're going to click import and you can see we imported 38 records successfully going back to our contact import, looking at this, Yep, we've got 38 records that we would have expected to come in. Now let's do the same for our individuals. So cog, import records, upload file, contact import. Then we're going to come over here once it's done loading and we're going to change the sheet to individual import. And look at this real quick. Again, the proper headers have saved us some time. So we have name, related company, phone, mobile, email. We're looking good. So let's import this guy. You can see we've got another 38 records that were created successfully. We'll go ahead and look at some of these and make sure that they linked up properly. So a good example for us is Detra Koye. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Sorry, Detra, if you're out there. Let's go ahead and search Detra Koye. You see how Detra is a company? That's why we needed to do the is a company false. Came in really nicely, tied to shot fiber optics, which looking at it, we come back in here shot fiber optics everything else came in nicely too so there you go you did your first contact import successfully hopefully this all made sense if you have any questions as usual go ahead and drop them in the comments below or if you need any additional help i've opened up my calendly now that'll be in the description as well so you can reach out if you need some of my time to help you with this as always, thank you so much for watching. Next time we're going to talk about some of the changes I would make to the basic form inside of Odoo for contacts to make your lives a bit easier. So please stay tuned for that.